Ever pondered over which countries have a surplus of single women due to a shortage of men? Well buckle up, because we're about to take you on a virtual journey around the globe to answer that very question. In the next 10 minutes we're going to explore 10 countries where the number of single women far outweighs the number of men. Our selection of countries is based on a variety of factors. We've looked at demographic data, census reports, and societal trends. We've also taken into account cultural factors that might contribute to these imbalances. Our sources are reliable and globally recognized, ensuring that the information we provide is accurate and up-to-date. From the frosty expanses of Russia to the bustling streets of Vietnam, we will uncover the stories behind these intriguing statistics. So, whether you're a trivia buff, a travel enthusiast, or simply curious, there's something for everyone. Prepare to have your mind blown as we embark on this intriguing journey. Starting our list, we have Russia. A nation known for its vast landscapes, rich culture, and yes, a rather unique gender ratio. Russia has a significant surplus of women compared to men, with approximately 86 men for every 100 women. This imbalance can be traced back to historical events such as World War II, where many Russian men were lost, creating a demographic shift. Culturally, Russian women are often seen as strong, independent, and family-oriented. They value education and many hold advanced degrees. However, the gender imbalance has led to a surplus of single women. The implications of this imbalance are multifaceted. It's not just about matrimonial prospects but also about societal roles and expectations. It's about the challenges these women face in finding a partner, but also about the strength and resilience they exhibit in navigating their lives. Russia, a country of beauty, culture and many single women. A place where the story of its people is as vast as the land itself. Next on our list is the Baltic beauty, Latvia. Now imagine a country where the female population significantly outnumbers the male population. Welcome to Latvia. This stunning Baltic nation is grappling with a rather peculiar situation, a stark gender imbalance. This imbalance is not just a statistical anomaly, but a demographic conundrum that has social and cultural implications. With a higher proportion of women, Latvia has a surplus of single ladies. The reasons behind this disparity are multifaceted ranging from higher male mortality rates to a higher proportion of men emigrating for work. This situation, while it may seem unusual, actually shapes the social dynamics of the country. It influences everything from dating norms to family structures, making Latvia a unique place to navigate relationships. But one thing is certain, if you're a single man in Latvia, you're in a minority. This brings us to the end of our journey through Latvia, a place where men are scarce, but single women are plentiful. Coming up next, we have Ukraine. This Eastern European country is known for its vibrant culture, rich history, and sadly a significant gender imbalance. The ratio of men to women in Ukraine is skewed, with women significantly outnumbering men. Several factors contribute to this imbalance. Higher male mortality rates fueled by factors such as lifestyle choices and societal pressures play a key role. Also, economic migration, with men seeking job opportunities abroad, leaves a gender gap in the population. This demographic trend has deep implications. It influences societal norms and expectations, with many Ukrainian women remaining single for longer periods or even throughout their lives. However, these independent women are not just waiting around, they're pursuing education, building careers and contributing to their communities while they wait for their match. Despite the challenges, Ukrainian women continue to be resilient, optimistic and open to possibilities. Ukraine, a place where single women are waiting for their match. Heading over to the Caucasus we find Armenia. Armenia is a country with a deep history, rich culture, and a surprising gender imbalance. There are significantly more women in Armenia than there are men. This disparity is largely attributed to a host of societal and economic factors. One key reason is the outmigration of men seeking employment opportunities abroad, leaving behind a larger pool of single women. This gender imbalance has far-reaching implications. On one hand, it has led to a strong matriarchal society, with women often taking the lead in family and community matters. On the other hand, it has also led to a rise in single-parent families, with many women shouldering both parenting and financial responsibilities. Yet despite these challenges, Armenian women have shown remarkable resilience and adaptability. They have become pillars of their communities driving change and progress. Armenia, where single women outnumber the men. Next up we have Belarus. This Eastern European nation is known for many things, but one of its most intriguing aspects is its gender ratio. Belarus has a significantly higher number of women compared to men, 
a disparity that has not gone unnoticed. A variety of factors contribute to this imbalance. High rates of male mortality, particularly due to unhealthy lifestyle habits, have played a substantial role. Men in Belarus tend to have higher rates of alcohol consumption and smoking, which has led to an increased prevalence of health issues and consequently, a shorter life expectancy. This disparity has significant implications. For one, it results in a surplus of single women in the country, which has led to a unique social dynamic. Women in Belarus are highly educated and independent, often taking on both the roles of the breadwinner and the caregiver. Belarus with its diverse culture and rich history, is also a country with a surplus of single women. Flying over to East Asia, we land in China. This colossal country, home to one of the world's oldest civilizations, has a unique demographic situation. It's a place where the gender ratio is heavily skewed towards men. This imbalance is largely due to the country's former one-child policy, which led to a preference for male children. But what does this mean for the women of China? Well, it means there are many single women, thousands upon thousands of them in fact, who are well-educated, career-driven and independent. These women are reshaping societal norms, breaking down traditional expectations, and redefining the concept of family. However, this surplus of single women is not without its implications. It's sparking debates about gender roles and societal expectations, and it's also leading to a shift in the country's dating culture. The scene is set for change, dynamic, and unpredictable. China, a country with a noticeable number of single women. Next on our list is Estonia. This northern European gem is known for its breathtaking landscapes and its surprising gender ratio. Estonia boasts a higher number of women than men, with approximately 115 women for every 100 men. This disparity is owed to multiple factors. One key reason is the higher life expectancy of women which is common in many parts of the world. But the imbalance is further exacerbated by emigration trends. Men, particularly of working age, often seek jobs abroad leaving behind a higher proportion of women. The implications of this gender imbalance are multifaceted impacting the social dynamics and family structure in the country. The surplus of single women has led to a society where women have become more independent and have taken on roles traditionally occupied by men. This has created a unique and progressive society that is constantly evolving. Estonia, where single women are abundant. Heading over to Southeast Asia, we find Vietnam. Here, the gender ratio leans towards women, with a higher number of women compared to men. This imbalance is not due to war or conflict, as one might assume, but rather a result of the country's past one-child policy. This policy, coupled with a cultural preference for boys, has resulted in a noticeable shortage of men. The implications of this imbalance are many. For one, there's a surplus of single women in the country. These women, highly educated and independent, often find themselves having to delay marriage or forego it altogether. This has led to a shift in societal norms and a redefinition of family structures in Vietnam, but it's not all gloom. These women are leading a change, breaking stereotypes and creating a new narrative for themselves. It's a fascinating social dynamic to observe. And it's happening right here in Vietnam. Vietnam, a place where single women are in surplus. Next up we have Lithuania. A country nestled in the heart of Europe, Lithuania holds a unique spot on our list. The gender ratio here is rather skewed, with significantly more women than men. So, what's the reason for this imbalance? Well, it's primarily due to two factors. First, men in Lithuania have a shorter life expectancy, largely due to health and lifestyle choices. Second, there's the issue of migration, with a considerable number of men seeking employment opportunities abroad, leaving behind a surplus of single women. But what does this mean for the country? It's a complex situation to say the least. While it does mean there are many single women in Lithuania, it also poses challenges in terms of societal development and family planning. However, Lithuanians are known for their resilience and adaptability, and they continue to navigate these unique circumstances with grace and strength. Lithuania, a country where single women are plentiful. And that wraps up our list of countries with many single women due to a lack of men. We've journeyed together from Russia, with its high female to male ratio, to Latvia, where the gender imbalance is quite noticeable. We've explored Ukraine's unique situation and delved into the gender dynamics in Armenia. We also ventured to Belarus, where we discovered a similar trend. Our trip to China revealed a surprising number of single women, despite its vast population. In Estonia, we found another European country grappling with this issue. We also learned about the situation in Vietnam, a country known for its rich cultural heritage and now, its many single women. 
Lastly we journeyed to Lithuania, another Baltic state where the number of women far outstrips the men. Thank you for joining us on this intriguing journey. Remember, love knows no borders, so keep your options open.